Contestants, find the limit of this equation. Calling somebody else fat won't make you any skinnier. Calling someone stupid doesn't make you any smarter. And ruining Regina George's life definitely didn't make me any happier. All you can do in life is try to solve the problem in front of you. The limit is negative one. Oh crap, I lost. That answer is incorrect. Now we are in a sudden death. If Miss Heron can answer this problem correctly, we have a winner. Limits, why couldn't I remember anything about limits? Limits, that was the week Aaron got his hair cut. Oh God, he looks so cute. Okay, focus, Katie. What was on the board behind Aaron's head? If the limit never approaches anything, the limit does not exist. The limit does not exist. Our new state champions, the North Shore Mathletes. Hello, my name is Tyler Chen from the Newton Frontier. Before starting, I just want to apologize for my brief absence. I was on break two Mondays ago, and last Monday I was really swamped with work. But this Monday we were back. On today's episode of Math Proof Monday, we will be discussing the famous limit in Mean Girls. The limit that the judge asks her to solve is the limit as x approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of 1 minus x minus sine x divided by 1 minus cosine squared x. If we evaluate this expression, we get 0 over 0, an indeterminate form. So what can we do to solve this problem? Well, the strategy here is to use L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule states that the limit of a function f of x divided by another function g of x is equal to the limit of the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x. So let's go back to the problem. If we use a trig identity to substitute sine squared x for 1 minus cosine squared x, it can make the problem a bit easier. Now if we apply L'Hopital's rule, the derivative of ln 1 minus x is equal to negative 1 over 1 minus x, the derivative of sine x is equal to cosine x, and the derivative of sine squared x is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So we can rewrite the limit as the following expression. If we evaluate the limit, we can get the limit as x approaches 0 is equal to negative 2 over 0. Now, negative 2 over 0 is undefined, but we can actually take one-sided limits to solve this problem. If we take a one-sided limit from the left, you can imagine dividing negative 2 by an infinitesimally small negative fraction. This would be equal to infinity. If we take a one-sided limit from the right, it would also be like dividing negative 2 by an infinitesimally small fraction. However, this fraction would be positive. This would be equal to negative infinity. Now, since the limit from the left does not equal the limit from the right, we can get Katie Heron's state championship winning answer. The limit does not exist. Yeah, get some, get some!